Good morning, Hammers fans. It's Nick from Claret and Booze. Just back with a, a very quick daily ramble. Um, if you're new to the channel, please uh, subscribe and drop a like on the video because it does really help us. Um, right, I received a message during yesterday's live broadcast of our Talk Hammers show. Didn't see it, so I, I, I would rather have read this out on that show. Um, but this is basically from the horse's mouth. So we've spoken about this in depth, you know, over, over the past few weeks and... We've had it confirmed. You know, you've had Jacob Steinberg come out and write a piece in the Observer, confirming similar. Um, but this is this is basically from the horse's mouth. Uh, it is from an unnamed source, but it's from somebody that is in direct correspondence with the chairman. So this is a message that they want pushed out. You know, uh, this that, that this isn't. It, they want this message put out there, which is f fucking mad. But anyway, here we go. Right, the message reads. The manager, David Moyes, is doing the chairman's head in. He is blocking the majority of players that the others suggest and he's insisting on his own signings. The committee is utterly use useless because he won't play players that he doesn't want, so he does hold the trump card and he's got a virtual veto, which is what we've said before. We've said this. When you go back a few weeks and we talk about the Alex Scott uh, story that I got slammed for. Um... Every player that joins West Ham, ultimately, regardless who negotiates that deal at the start, they're going to have to sit down with the manager. At that point, David Moyes can cancel any deal he wants because that player has to play for David Moyes. He says he ain't going to play them. They ain't going to come, are they? Um, it is a complete shambles and a mess. And to make matters worse, some players, they won't even consider joining West Ham because of David Moyes. They are naming David Moyes as the reason they will not join. Now, chair, now, the chairman is pulling his hair out, but he feels that he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. I mean, stuck between a rock and a hard place. Where's the rock and where is the hard place in this? I don't understand it. I really, really don't. And what I, what I really don't get now, um, Sullivan, if, if, you're, if you're watching this, right, um, or, or, or anyone else. I, what I don't understand is this demonstrates nothing. I understand that this is like a standard deflection tactic that you've used over the years when things haven't been going quite so well and you try to shift the blame onto the manager. It's always a manager, okay? We know it's David Moyes. You're telling us nothing that we don't know. We know the guy's stubborn. We know the guy... Uh, we, we, we know completely who... what David Moyes is capable of. But all this demonstrates... All this demonstrates is weak leadership. No, actually, it demonstrates no leadership at all. None. You're making yourself look foolish. The guy's got no coaching staff. It's just him and, and Billy McKinley. That's it. He's got one year left on his deal. He's been terrible in the league for 18 months. Get rid of him. Just get him gone. You're making yourself look so useless. Honestly, I... I mean, for your own sake, just get rid of him. You've got a football... We understand that you struggle to appoint managers. I can only think that that's the only reason that you're retaining David Moyes is because you've done the Pellegrini thing. That didn't work. You've come back and you've done David Moyes. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. The guy clearly thinks he's got you over a barrel. He's treating you like a mug, like he's the one that's running that club. David Moyes is your employee. He works for you, not the other way around. And at the moment, he's being disruptive... To, 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 the, to the health of West Ham Football Club. It's all about him. It ain't about the club. Get rid of him. Fuck him off. Just do yourself a favour. The majority of West Ham fans have been crying out for this now. Even, even with the cup win, nothing has changed. Go back and look at the popularity of the video that I put out yesterday, which is basically slamming Moyes and you. And you're getting slammed because of this. This is why people have a problem with you. Because you, Diver, you're a weak, weak leader. You're a weak chairman. So show us that that's not the case. Go out there and get fucking rid of him. And this specialist that you've brought in, and Tim Stuyton, who is a specialist, delegate responsibility to him. Give it to him. But make him the, direct, the, the actual director of football and get him to go out and appoint a, a, a manager or a head coach that he can work with. It ain't fucking rocket science. How on earth have you ever become a billionaire, mate? And this is what this is the other thing as well. This is what I don't buy. If this didn't suit you, it'd be gone. Because you can't be as useless as this. I fail to see that. 
I fail to see or accept that you can be as useless as you're demonstrating at the moment. Because it just, it just doesn't make any sense. You're a good businessman. You, 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 you haven't got where you are through being a nice guy. So unless this situation suits you, you change it. I'm sure you would. But if for any reason you are in a bit of a bad place and you're not in, you're not, you, you, you are being manipulated by this guy, fuck him off. Get rid of him. We don't want him. We don't want him. We don't like him as a person. We hate his style of football. The players don't want him. You've got players that won't join. You've got players that are currently here that want away because of David Moyes. There's staff that are leaving because of David Moyes. It's so glaringly obvious what the problem is. We've got two weeks to go until the season starts. It ain't too late. It's not too late at all. You've only got to look at the friendly that we played the other day. Nothing's changed. Get fucking rid of him. Pull Kevin Keane in until you found someone that, that, can, that can fill the role properly. We've still got six weeks until the transfer window ends. We can start our project now. We can. But what are you going to do? Are you honestly, honestly going to basically do this throughout the whole of this transfer window to run it down and then make the decision at the end? Because you can see how this is going to go, can't you? You know how it's going to go. Because even you, you're not supporting him with his targets. You know this is this is nonsense, what he's suggesting. You know it's not right for the football club. That's why you're not giving him his targets. So is that, is that what this is? Was it all about selling Declan Rice's window and winding things down? Because that's what you're effectively doing. You know, if you allow David Moyes to run us through to the end of August, until that window closes, and then you're going to chop him and make a change, then that says to me this is being orchestrated by you because you don't want to spend money. And I, and I am sorry, look, listen to the, to, to the people that gave me this message. I know that this probably isn't the, 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 the way that you wanted me to, to relay this message, but I, this is how I interpret it. I'm sorry. It is. Um, and it, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't agree with it in any way, shape or form. Whatever way, whatever angle I look at this, it demonstrates weakness, makes us look small time. Why on earth would anyone join this club? Why would Jared Bowen on the last two years of his deal, sign up and commit to us with the way that we're run. We're a fucking shambles. And that comes back to you. That isn't West Ham Football Club. We're one of the best supported clubs in the world. You know, we do our bit. It's about time you started doing your bit. Pull your fucking finger out and run this club properly. Come on, you irons.